action. We're rolling. Give us a good clap. No, just one good clap. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll do the clap. Here, I got the clap. <laughs> yeah! Speed thing, you like. Here's your, okay, speed, sound, speed. Now give it a few seconds. Okay, Get I'm, out, Jared. I'm just gonna leave, okay? Deal. Good morning, you guys. We are gonna show you how we curl our hair. What? <laughs> We've had a lot of people ask us some questions, so we're gonna do a hair tutorial. Bonnie, go. Okay, the first thing that I do, well, it's funny. Last night, I saw Ellie, and we both had this like puffy, kind of frizzy <laughs> hair. I was like, did you shower so that you could sleep on your hair and curl it tomorrow? She's like, yep, that's exactly what I did. So before I tell you how I curl my hair, I wanna show you the products that I use. A lot of times, I use the Paul Mitchell Skinny Serum. Which I have the same Ellie thing. does too. I use it when my hair is wet. Me too. You've been using it for like 10 years since hair school. It's true. And it's good stuff. When I put product on my hair, I make sure there is no alcohol in it. If there is alcohol in it, I just don't use it. Um, now I'm going to look at it and there's going to be alcohol in no, it. No, there's not. I've checked a million times, I believe. It's awesome. In my hand, I will place th several different products at once rub it all together and then work it through my hair. I use the Redken Velvet Gelatin and it, it's really good for like frizzy hair. Not dry hair, frizzy hair. There is a difference. Anyway, so I put a little squirt of that in my hand and then I take a squirt of Redken Diamond Oil, stick it in my hand. And then I also take a few pumps of Redken Frizz Dismiss and stick it in my hand. And these products are products that I've been using for years. I have fine hair, not thick hair like Bonnie, and it's not as frizzy as Bonnie's. Like mine's fine, hers is more of a coarse, thicker texture. I use the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum when my hair is wet for sure. And then my very particular with heat protectants, even though I have product in my hair and I dried it, now that it's dry, I still use a heat protectant in my hair. And this is the Aveda Thermal Dry Conditioning. Um, thermal treatment. I also really love argon oil. Like I've used argon oil for years. I know Numi has a brand. Like there's hundreds of brands of argon oil. So that's what right. I use before I curl my hair. So you put the Paul Mitchell in when it's wet. All yeah. those products that I just showed you, they go in my hair when my hair is wet. And then, so you spray that on when it's dry. Yes. And I use Moroccan oil in my hair and I use about two pumps usually. I'll take one pump, rub it through my hands. Oh, I don't like doing it when my rings are on. And I'll take half of my hair and I don't go up to the root. I focus on the ends because that's where most people's hair is the most dry, is on the ends. Ooh, I thought it was something hot. I'm like, don't bother me. <laughs> important to note though like we're using all these oils like diamond oil Moroccan oil the Paul Mitchell oil the Moroccan oil is the nicest oil it's yeah. amazing I but this oil is just a, it's a soothing oil. it's a smoothing oil and a conditioning oil so that's why I like the Paul Mitchell super skinny mm -hmm. serum anyway <clears throat> so I part my hair halfway up a little less than halfway and I always divide it in the middle and the back and I Me do too. this every day I start with one section. Me too. I have the Numi curling wand. It is tapered, so smaller on the upper part and larger on the bottom. I point it down so the top of the hair is tight, and I wrap it all the way around, holding the bottom inch out. There is a few times if my hair has dried kind of funny, where I'll take my flat iron before I curl and just do this, that's it. Just one little thing, that way the ends are a little more straight. So I usually just do that just in the front and that's it. So I'm just gonna go around my head and start curling. I've been rocking the center part and I love it it's with my beautiful. blonde hair. Okay, I was gonna ask you, do you think that I no. should switch that up? It's beautiful. I've been loving it. So I part it down the center, part it in the back, bring my hair forward and um, I have to start with the flat iron because my hair is so frizzy. So frizzy. So what I'll do? <laughs> what? So what I'll do is I'll start 
on the part because I don't like to go through and flat iron my whole hair because then it doesn't curl well. I only flat iron the part that my curling iron isn't gonna curl. So I'll go right here at the center and flat iron up just a little like this and then I'll frame my face with the flat iron just because I have all these tiny baby hairs that I need to flat iron. Oh, that sounded bad. <laughs> Sorry, and then I'll go right above my ear like that and work my way down here. And I do the same thing every time. So the perimeter right here is flat iron and then I'll go to just the very bottom and I'll flat iron the bottom like this. Now when I curl my hair, I'll do this and then I won't Recurl it or rewash it for three days, four days, because the curl will stay in. If you're having a hard time with your curl staying in, it's really important that you one, get a hair cut, like a trim, and keep your hair hydrated. Um, when working in the salon, we would notice a lot of people that had a hard time with their hair curling was their hair was so dry and dehydrated right. that by the time day one, the end of the night, their hair was so flat, and I've got really fine hair. So you can have fine hair, but still hold a curl. It, it just might take a minute to rehydrate your hair, recondition your hair. Even if you use a conditioner, put it on your dry hair, clip it up for a few hours, then shampoo and condition your hair out. It'll get that moisture in your hair. I think a lot of people dismiss their hair when you really should be hydrating it, you know? Like you wouldn't leave the house without sunscreen on your face. You really should hydrate your hair. It's like your hair forever. <laughs> the other day I took a break from straightening my hair. I washed my hair really well and then I put a whole bunch of conditioner in it and braided it and I left it like that for two days just to kind of give my hair a break. <laughs> but I start in the front of my hair hmm. and you start in the back. I start in the front and I take my beach waver and I start in the front and I go, how long is that above? Like a few inches. And I just curl the center of the hair because I've already straightened the base. And so I curl the center shaft and then I take my flat iron and I just straighten the end just like that. And I go through my entire hair that way and I am careful not to hold the iron on too long when I do it. When I used to work at the salon there would be people that would say I have I don't do anything to my hair I don't blow dry it I don't curl it I don't do anything because I want healthy hair and their hair was so damaged and we still needed to cut so much off that yeah I curl my hair and we're using heat on it but my hair is very healthy and it is because we use protection on it. Like my ends feel so good, like we get it trimmed off in. Um, so I think the care is just as equally as important as like styling it, you know? Right. Sometimes before I go to bed, if I know I have to wash my hair one day. Yeah, and like Ellie said, I only wash my hair every five days. Um, I'll leave it down the first few days, I'll braid it the next few days, and then it's up in a messy bun for a few days. <laughs> um, and then the and process starts over. that's good for your over. hair. The yeah, oils need the to get down. Mm -hmm, the natural oils. When I go to bed at night, I braid it, but if I know I'm gonna be washing my hair the next morning, I will put some sort of a protein treatment in it, or a conditioning treatment in it. I, I go back and forth. Half the time I use a protein, treatment and half the time I use a conditioning uh, treatment. Are you done? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm done. So I took half of that, I curled the one half. The same with this half, I just took it the other direction and curled my hair. I feel like we're talking lots about hair care just as much as we're curling our hair. But if we overwhelm you, the most simple thing we could say is do a conditioning treatment once a week, whether that's using your own conditioner or buying one, that would be my suggestion. So this next top, I am going to, again, part in half, keep this section over here, and curl this section the same way. This is the top of the, my hair, so I try and like go a little slower and like, do a better job. But again, I do it all the way to my root. I have shorter hair, and actually Bonnie's the one that told me, like, I had styled my hair a few times, and she was like, I was like, do I look like older? Like, does my hair look good? And she's like, you have this cute haircut, style it better. She's like, curl it all the way to the root 
So you have like more of like a um hairstyle and it it people love it. Yeah, I definitely love and it. And I love it. So I just go all the way to the root. And do you curl some people curl away from their face one curl towards their face another curl? Do you mm -hmm. do that? I usually just curl all the way from my face Me until too. I get to this section. And then sometimes I'll curl it towards my face just so it's kind of like yeah. cutesy. Yeah, I do all of mine away from my face. So when I'm done with one side of my hair, I'll comb it out just to see if there's any pieces I missed or if I need to straighten the ends, which that's usually what I have to do. If there are sections that are too curly, I'll just straighten the end of that curl. But you can see, I just this is how I've done my hair for so long, since I've had extensions in. Um, that's just how I wear it. And you can see, I wish that I, did, I wish I didn't straighten this side so you could see just how like frizzy this one was. But anyway, that's how I leave my hair most of the time. So can you even tell? It's like really dark. <laughs> you can tell the difference. I know sometimes I look in the camera and like, what? I'm showing that. So sometimes with this very front piece, everything's curled away from my face. But sometimes I'll curl this one a, a very dip, like a different direction just so that front piece of my hair looks just a little different. Like, yeah, so see how that's towards my face right now? And I like it. Yeah, it's just the one piece, and then when I'm all done with my hair, I'll um, take a pick or comb. <laughs> this is my favorite comb. It's a wet comb and it's perfect. I'll take a comb and just kind of comb through it or use my fingers. I love it. Mostly my fingers I'll use. And it's usually really tight the first day and then by day three it's like beautiful and loose. And mm -hmm. I don't do anything as far as um, back combing or anything. Like when I get to this point, I just leave mine unless I want it to look okay. a little more umphy. Do you have a pen? I screwed my hand. You did it, it looks so cute. This is the pick we had when we were like 10 years old, by the way. Yep, our dog Sunny chewed the handle, and every time I use it, I'm like, aww, Sunny. Sunny dog. Anyway, if I want my hair to look a little more umphy, I will just do a little tiny back combing through the mid shaft. I totally screwed it up. You? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do what you can to fix that. It actually is super cute. It is cute. I just, it's just really like, right now I just need to figure it well, out. Well just take your flat iron through it just a little bit to kind of, it's honestly cute. It is cute, I just am like. Oh. It's a little much. So I'll do the mid shaft of my hair and then I'll just do a little back combing underneath up here. Okay, it was cute until I messed with it. <laughs> no, it honestly, it's fun and it doesn't have to be perfect. I like it. So you like look at the difference between this side and this side. Like it just gives that extra little like umphy to it. Check it out. I hate it. <laughs> I <laughs> love my hair. It's the, the piece I just screwed up. I, I do that every time. No, look See, at that. That's that perfect. cute. That's perfect. It's See, perfect. I feel like it's too like Yeah, it old is. It is a little bit. It's like I need to lift it. Just kind of mess it up, just like, yeah. Okay, this is gonna take me a minute. It, do you know how dang cute it is right now? Okay, that's better, because it's lifted up. Like, I know it I'm has. a little like. <laughs> it's a little big, but I like it. <laughs> I usually don't use hairspray, but I, we oh, both what? use bedhead masterpiece. I hardly ever use hairspray, but just because if I want my flyaways to lay down, I'll spray the top of the hair like that. Are you serious? I love it. This I is how I curl my hair, and sometimes at the end you screw it up. So, well, and sometimes your hair your hair will do what it wants to do. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with it or keep curling it because then it's like damaging it. Yeah. So this is what I guess. I like it though. It's cute. And I just spritz it a little. I don't need to tease it because it's hella big. Ah! <laughs> I and then like that's it. it, and I'm gonna go like party. It's cute. <laughs> I love it. Like, look how cute that is. Yeah, definitely cute. I hope you guys got a few tips from us as we curled our hair. Thank you guys so much for the request. If you have some other videos you'd like to see, let us know. And we will see you guys next time. Don't forget to check out our bollybrand.com in the description. And we'll see you later, guys. Bye. Bye.